Hello there from the Magic Kingdom in the messed up hair day. Um, my hair is a little messed up because it is a very rainy day. Um, yes, it is. But we wanted to come into the park to see if we could ride something um, for today because we figured, you know what? It's a slow day. We could probably just get onto any ride. Yeah. So we were looking at fast passes, and for most of the rides, there are fast passes for right now. <laughs> yes. Well, okay. We don't. We don't need a fast pass. Let's just go get in the line. Yep. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ride a ride. So off we go. While well, headed to go ride the rides, we came to the Central Plaza, and something I wanted to point out here in the Central Plaza is um, something I really, really like. So if you take a look at the castle. On rainy days like this, you can really tell that the castle is a grayish pink. Um, like most of the castles for Disney, they are a shade of pink. Uh, and that's to work with the sky around it. Now the way that they choose the colors of the castle is is a really cool, like, like I think a really cool process that they go through. Um, they take these huge 10 feet by 10 feet, sort of, Christina's taking a photo behind me. <laughs> they use these huge 10 feet by 10 feet panels of wood, and then they paint them different colors. And then what they do is they sit them out in the sun and in the rain and all the weather elements of the location that they're going to be in to choose the absolute perfect color, absolute perfect color so that the castle, no matter what time of day, no matter what type of day, it's still gonna look good in the photos. Um, so, like I said, today you can really tell that the Walt Disney World castle is sort of like a grayish pink. Um, during the bright sunny days, it comes out as more of a white, right? Yeah. Uh, with a bluish tone. Um, but it's, it's really cool. Yeah, on the sunny days, it reflects the um the pillars the blue mm -hmm. on those so it's a really cool process uh, and i just really wanted to share that with you guys so this says rivers of america crossing um this location used to be where chip and dale used to meet and like their cowboy. frontier land yeah their cowboy outfits they were so cute uh, and if you notice there's a canoe back behind there because in order for them to get over into liberty square they had to take a canoe across the Little Mississippi, which is what this bridge here is, to get over from Frontierland, the Wild West, which is there, to the east, like Philadelphia area, <laughs> over here. So you have to cross from the east to the west, and they have to take a canoe <laughs> because there's so much water for the Little Mississippi. <laughs> Yeah, they're little chipmunks. Yeah, that makes sense. We found this sign on the Disney Vacation Club booth. The getaway stagecoach line. This policy looks intense. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can read the whole thing. It is our policy that each and every passenger that books passage on our coach will receive the most comfortable scenic ride possible. We have made every possible effort to provide the finest eating and sleeping facilities. Ladies will be treated with the utmost respect and consideration while on their journey. Any male passengers not wishing to comply will be put off on the first flat spot on the trail. <laughs> it is our goal to get you to your destination healthy and uninjured. <clears throat> Ooh, this is getting small. We will not accept responsibility for acts by highwaymen, savages, being broken down or any unforeseen conditions that may result in being delayed or not arriving to your destination. We cannot be re expected to notify next of kin in the event of catastrophic occurrence or unexpected fatality. Thank you for choosing Getaway. <laughs> Christina. What? If I asked you where's the best place to get pins in the Magic Kingdom, where would you go? Probably over here. What what the is front, over here? The Frontier Trading Post. The Frontier Trading Post? Yeah. Why would you go there? Because it's only pins in there. Yep, it's the the only location with all pins. They're all over the wall. Hello. Hi. Some hats now too. <laughs> but ninety percent of it's pins. And speaking yeah. of country bears, I see a country bear right there. And I see another country bear over there. I 
<laughs> he's helping them find the sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom location. Yeah, that is fantastic. <laughs> it's, yep, let's try over there. <laughs> How cute. So right next to the Frontierland shooting gallery, the shooting arcade, is one of the sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom uh, portals. And I wanted to show you where it was. So back there with Christina, back behind her is the portal. Um, and the reason why I want to show where it was is because it is the hardest portal to find. The hardest one. And so here it is, just so you guys know where it is. Uh, we're not going to play Sorcerers today, but I just want you to know where it is. The one over here the other day, I saw him hiding up by that, see the, the post with like the, where to go, that. Mm -hmm. He was standing in the dirt over there. It looks like he's... Like this. He's getting into the dirt behind you right now. He's trying to get... <laughs> but he was just standing there, like this, and he looked like a statue and he was just saying, still. <laughs> and this guy was looking at him like, is, is he okay? And, and other people thought he was just a statue because he was standing so still like this. It was so funny to watch. I love, if we look at him right now, he's waving to the riverboat is what he was just doing. <laughs> And then, of course, if you're in Frontierland, you can't forget to visit <laughs> Bear Hall and Bear with Henry and his friends. <laughs> Which we got to do... I wasn't... I was talking. <laughs> Which we got to do a while ago, and I'll share a link to that video at the bottom of the description so that you guys can watch that video too. I love being in there. A lot of times, Christina doesn't like it, but I control the show, and by control the show, I mean I get everyone to clap in there because he's I loud. I clap really loud. <laughs> See, the reason I don't like it is because usually after you stop, people slowly like start to stop, but then half of them can't keep a beat, <laughs> so they're clapping loud, yep. badly, and it's just like it drives me nuts. <laughs> and of course, across from Bear Hall, you have to have a shop. For Big Al. He's right back right there. there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out that for the Festival of Fantasy Parade, that enters through the gate straight back here next to Splash Mountain, um, which in turn makes this bench, normally when we sit in Frontierland, the best location to sit is right here on this corner because the Festival of Fantasy Parade comes down the street. These walkways here cannot be blocked and are cleared most of the time. And so you get such a great view and on top of it, There's everything... There's no rope in front of you either. Well, I was going to say, everything on this fence, nobody's allowed to stand there either. And so the characters are, they just want to, uh, like, entertain so people. <laughs> yep. And so you always get, like, a great seat. You always get some great interactions. And so it's just a perfect place to sit. So this, the Pecos Bills... Code of the West sign is my favorite sign in Frontierland um, because the rules are you respect the land, you defend the defenseless, and don't ever spit in front of women and children. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> what about on them? That you sounds even worse. You not say anything about spitting on them, but that would be worse, yeah. You would be doing it in front of them still. Wow. Why has my hair been so crazy today? Because it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> so, we're here. It does seem like it's busy, but it's been sort of slow. Yeah. I suggest we go ride Big Thunder Mountain. Okay. Now, it says 25 minutes, so we'll see how long it actually is. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
wasn't a dinosaur on this ride because that would have been terrible. And ah! oh. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> and now for the best part of the ride. And whoop! <laughs> that was fun! Like, what, 20 minutes we stood in line? Maybe. Um, I count it. It came to like close to 20. Yeah, it was like 18 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that wasn't was bad really at all. Close. We never really like stopped walking nope. for very long. And the only time we stopped was to play with the interactive stuff. <laughs> yeah. And even still, like every time we stopped to play with the interactive stuff, we, and, like, like immediately started moving again. Yeah. So I have to say, I really, really enjoy out of all the mountains here at uh, Disney World, Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, um, that one's pretty fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is my favorite. They also use like the best dynamite company. Um, in the queue, you'll see like dynamite boxes, and the company's name is Light 'em and Hide. <laughs> and it's not like your typical like if you read that, it's like L Y. It looks like someone's name. Yep. And I I absolutely love that that pun company. <laughs> um, I can say that when it comes to Disneyland, I feel the same. Like when it comes to their mountains, I really like Big Thunder Mountain there too. Yeah, that one's um, a lot smoother because they just refurbished the track recently. Mm -hmm. Recently, as in like the last five years. <laughs> um, but it's a lot smoother than the one here, but it's still a lot of fun. I still don't know why my hair is all over the place. I mean, it, <laughs> it definitely is because of the rain, but it's like sticking straight up. It's really funny. Um, it's doing weird things too. Also, the Big Thunder Mountain at Disneyland is almost a full minute longer than Disney World's, <laughs> um, which is awesome. Um, I also I I do think that I like Disney World's Frontierland more than I like Disneyland. It seems a little more spread out. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense. I mean, they don't have a well, whole lot of land. Yeah. That is the end of our time in Frontierland. Um, we're glad that we got to share things in Frontierland. Yeah. Um, there aren't that many. I mean, there is a lot of hidden stuff in Frontierland. Um, but because it's rainy, our mm -hmm. hair's a wreck. <laughs> and Splash Mountain, we didn't do Splash Mountain. Correct, we didn't do Splash Mountain. We also wanted to show you the stuff in the train station. Now, right now the train station is closed, just so you know, um, because they're refurbishing the track and they're also installing um, a new attraction that's coming over from Shanghai Disney, um, the Tron attraction. Yeah. So, um, we'll show you some video. So here's the video of inside the train station at Frontierland. So the Frontierland station used to be my favorite station because of all these props. Um, right up here used to be a peg leg with the word Smith across it. Um, and it was to represent the joke that um, Ed Wine or Uncle Albert and Mary Poppins says to Dick Van Dyke or Bert. Um, it was just funny to have the peg leg up there with the word Smith across it.
head straight across there is going to be the queue to Splash Mountain. And right out here, it looks like they're using their extended queue today. It has come to the end of our day, like I said. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna fix our hair. Get we're, out of the rain. We're gonna get dry, yep. Um, which means it's time for us to watch out for free range grandmas. Mm -hmm. So bye guys. Maybe there's some over on Tom Sawyer's Island. Possibly, let's go bye. take a look.